Hey guys and girls, and thank you for watching another episode of the Xbox Tester. My name is Maurice. Today we're gonna play Scorn on Xbox Series X. Maybe you've already seen my video on the Series S version of this game. It runs amazing. And yeah, I also really wanted to show this game on Series X because mm, does this game look good? So yeah, without further ado, let's go check it out. First of all, let's see how much data this game is. And that's 18.6 GB. The game is a Xbox console exclusive. And it's also on Game Pass. You can also buy the game. It's like $39.99. And um, you get like a discount for like 10% off if you have a Game Pass subscription. The game is fully optimized for new gen consoles. Xbox Gen 9, Gen Scarlet. It's also a new gen console exclusive. So you can't run this game natively on your Xbox One. You do can play this game with um, xCloud on Xbox One. So if you still want to experience the game, you can still stream it on your Xbox One. Let's go start it up. You guys, if you like this kind of content, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. It means a lot for me. You're really helping out this channel. You can also hit the bell icon. I upload almost on a daily basis, new games, old games, updates on games, even a little bit of hardware here and there. So, by the way, big shout out to the people of Kepler uh, Entertainment for sending me early access to this game so I could already play a big, big part of it. And uh, I really, really, really like it. It's such a good game. But yeah, it's not a game for everybody. So first of all, I'm gonna show you the video settings and there are not many. <laughs> so you've got like motion blur on, off, brightness, and that's it. I'm gonna make it a little bit more clearer because on my uh, I had a little uh, some per people saying that it looks a little bit dark when I make these videos. Um, let's do select a slot now. Load a game. What's a fun part of the game to get into? 1.1. Let's go to. Act 4. Let's get into this. I love the artwork of this game. I'm a real big HR Geiger fan. Like the guy that made um, the designs for the alien creature in the alien movies. I love it. I also like... It's also a little bit like these David Cronenberg style movies. And yeah, look at this. How great this game looks. It's in insane everything moves and everything's dirty and it's like veins and 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 me mechanical things and yuck it's oh man i'm gonna run through this part of the game don't know if there if i've been followed and yeah, the, the aesthetics of this game. It runs at 4K, 60 FPS. There is some ray tracing going on, but it's okay. But look at the design of this creature. Oh my goodness. And it's like biopunk style. Like everything's fleshy and, and, and gruesome. And gore. Ah. Look at that thing. Nasty. It gives me goosebumps. It actually gives me goose goosebumps. 
So there is some shooting going on in this game. But it's nothing special. It's shooting. It's not a real shooter game. It's much more of an... Um, yeah. Interactive piece of art. I think that's the best way to describe this game. It's... There... Yeah. You can shoot. There are a few weapons you can, uh, can use. But... Most part of the game is just like... Yeah. You're on this... Crazy world. Alien-like world. And... Yeah, nothing's being told. People don't tell you any. Ah, ah, the sound design. My goodness. Yakiba. And the whole world is like one big puzzle. Look at the particles. My goodness. This is nightmare stuff. What you see here. Wow. It's like you're walking through an interactive painting of H.R. Geiger. It's completely insane. Now let's run through this part because otherwise it will cost me a lot of... Health. Look at this. It's like almost like you're on that ship from Prometheus, that movie. So need some extra health. Ah, <laughs> nasty. Eesh. I love it. But look at this. It's the most horrific game I've ever seen, I think. Ah, oh, it cuts open like that. Oh, and this creature doesn't like it. This creature isn't liking it. There's so much pain. Poor, poor creature. Do I already have the key for this? No. No. My key is not completely fully loaded. <laughs> My goodness. Every look at it. Ah, nasty. What? Why? Look at him shake. Oh, it's such a nasty game. So much horror and pain. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Run for your life. Oh, and here's where we get the shotgun. In my F -S Series S video, I actually got the, the rocket launcher. This is where you get, like, the shotgun. And I don't have any bullets, so you can get bullets with this device or contraption, I must say. Look at it. Everything lives. And looks horrendous. 
So, three bullets in. Now I can finally shoot the big guy. Where is he? Come over here. And be gentle with your bullets because you don't have that many. Sometimes, like, the bullets I got are like all the bullets you have. Oh, darn it. Don't, don't, don't. Leave me this way. I don't think there's something around here. Look at that creature. Ah! Nasty little bugger. And the game tells you nothing. It, it, it just leaves you out there. There is no... Almost no loading screens or anything. It's just one big... Yeah. World. You got to walk through. So here I can upgrade my key. So I get one more light. In it. Look at this. You guys. It's insane. And it's made by such a small team actually. does has a little bit of stutter sometimes close the door otherwise those creatures come after you and you don't want those creatures to come after you they can be really really deadly I think I, yeah, I already opened up this one, but I'm not sure where to go from here. I already completed it, but that doesn't say a thing. Ah, here we go. And now we can get through this part. Gorgeous. Beautiful disaster. Maybe you've already seen my Series S video. And yeah. If anything, this game should get a lot of nominations for best sound design. I don't think it's a game that everybody will like. Because it's a lot of exploring and a lot of puzzling. So yeah, it's not a it's not Doom or anything. Don't expect to have like a big action-packed horror survival adventure. Nope. You're not gonna get that. No, it's a lot of gruesome, horrific, horror inducing materials and Gives you such an eerie feeling walking around here. Ugh. Nasty game. Maybe I need to go this way. The only way is up, baby. Yeah, this is the way. And it took me a few hours to get to this point of the game already. <laughs> so from what I've heard, um, I haven't completed it yet, but I am pretty far in the game. And from what I've heard, it will take you up like... Um, Uh, eight around 
yeah, plus minus eight hours. I think that's um, what I've heard from most people. It is a one and done game. So if you completed it, you also unlocked most of the achievements in the game. I'm what? How many achievements do I have? Yeah, 680. I still need to have four achievements. So it's not a hard game to um, to complete. If you know what you're doing. I love how you change weapons. It's all so organic and, and strange. Ah, this is uh, where I came from. Now let's go down this way. Oh, darn it. Bad boy. Here we go. And this is a... Oh, here I can get new health. That also looks so horrific. Look at this. <laughs> Here we go. Getting the last part. Ah, oh, yes. Nasty. Poor, poor, poor creature. He really doesn't like it when I do that. Well, I would like it if there's somebody did that. Look at that face. Oh my goodness. Horror. Complete, complete horror. no idea oh wait what's this ah ah that's something i can use i think th these are the only two areas where you can get a little bit of ammo good thing is all the enemies stay dead when you kill them they stay dead nope No, 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 no. Oh, dar oh, darn it. Oh, darn it. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> but yeah, you guys, this is Scorn running on Xbox Series X. Go check it out. It's out right now. And it's a blast if you like these kind of games. I really want to thank you for watching. Hope you had fun. Hope to see you guys soon in another one. Bye.